Some of the biggest cities in England are being given significant new powers from today in return for promises to bring down youth unemployment and boost economic growth. The so-called city deals give eight areas outside of London control over billions of pounds of government funding and how to spend it on transport, education and building projects. Many of the decisions that affect people in Leeds are taken in London. It's the same for every city in England. At the moment, if the council wants to implement a transport or regeneration plan, it may have to spend years lobbying ministers. But Leeds is now one of several big cities to have secured a new deal, so that more decisions can be taken locally. We're well, absolutely delighted because local authorities have been asking for these powers for a very long time and today is a big historical breakthrough for all of us who want to do far more for our economy than we've been allowed to do in the past. Similar deals have been agreed with Birmingham, Bristol, Nottingham, Newcastle and Sheffield. Manchester and Liverpool have already signed agreements. The cities are being given greater power over things like transport and regeneration, but in return they've had to make promises on jobs and economic growth. Leeds, for instance, has made a commitment to get everyone into education, training or employment. Some may question whether these city deals are substantial enough to alter the balance of power with London. Labour says the announcements are a victory for local government, but wants ministers to go much further and offer similar deals to councils across England. Mike Sargent, BBC News.